kind of speeding things along there, you won't believe. There it is, completely finished. The great pumpkin, as carved by the ghoul. Ah, uh, you may say, that looks like an ordinary pumpkin, pumpkin ghoul. Spit it out, kid. Hey, ghoul. Yeah. That looks just like an ordinary <laughs> pumpkin. Contraire, contraire, Ron Schneider. That is a magical pumpkin. I don't know how it works out, but every year when I make a pumpkin, it's a magical one, and it's different than any other pumpkin. Watch! <laughs> <laughs> no. How about that, gang? You waited all night for this, right? Hey! All right, there it is, the magical pumpkin. Hey! There it is. Ba, 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 ba. All right. That joke. You say, wow, how does he how does he do that over there? Well, magic. <laughs> Four. And now, by golly, that pumpkin has a lot of stick to him this, I'll tell you that. Over there. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty of the show. <laughs> Why not? It's over. So all you folks that tuned in, do I look dark? Look at that. Is it me or what? No, I guess I look all right. Is that? Well, here nor there, it's the clothes. You know what I look like, right, gang? <laughs> right. So if you just tune in for the movie, see ya. And all you folks that like the portion of the ghoul, we got a lot to tell you right now. First of all, I want to thank you. The ghoul ate really good this week because you've been sending in for those sweatshirts, right? However, a lot of you said we didn't catch the part where you mentioned the sweatshirts last week. So we're gonna show you the ghoul sweatshirt, right? Gorgeous, long sleeve of the turn blue face, white on black or black on white, depending on how you look at it. Now, if you would like to have a ghoul sweatshirt of your very own over there, just send in a check or money order, right? That's the important part for $2.50. Don't send cash now, a check or money order for two dollars and fifty cents okay and make those payable to ghoul sweatshirts over there okay now two dollars and fifty cents is so the ghoul can eat regularly right and maintain that health food diet that he's been working on all these months so you send that checker money order to ghoul sweatshirt okay wkbf tv box 6100 Cleveland, Ohio, 44101, and we'll get one out to you. It'll take us about two weeks, count of two, to get one out to you. You won't believe. And I guarantee, I'll tell you what, if you're not completely satisfied with your purchase after one week, I'll send along my regrets. I'll do that for you, you won't believe, okay? Right. Now, right over there, who is that? Now, secondly, don't forget, Barnum and uh, Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Soikas is coming to town. I'll tell you when it's coming to town. That's a coming to town, November 9th and a November 15th over there. So, what we have is 50 pairs of circus tickets, right? That we're gonna lay on to 50 winners. 50 pairs, that means each winner gets two. They get to take along a guest of their choice, just like the winner of the evening in Parma, Holly Wimmer gets to do. Now, if you'd like to win a pair of tickets, all you gotta do is send in a picture of what you think the ghoul would look like as a circus clown. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Right? And next week, we'll announce the winners, the 50 winners. Either announce them or stick their pictures up on the board over day and let you get a look at them, and we'll get your... Mm, yeah, yeah, that's the board with the magical pumpkin. Back to the star four. Oh, quick as a rabbit over day, I won't believe. And we'll be either announcing the winners, or, and yeah, we'll announce them and show their pictures on next week's show. So you can have your circus tickets and go out there and have a good time. And also, tomorrow, no, today's Sunday now. That's right, it's Halloween. Yeah, it's there. Oh, ho, ho. Um, well, never mind, forget it. But it is Halloween. And later on today, 2.30 to be exact, I will be in Mentor, in the uh, uh, Mentor, JC's, Halloween parade over day, right? Uh, we're gonna go down. What are those routes, Ron? Routes 20? 20 and 615. Routes 20 and 615, my director, Ron it Schneider. It's where it starts. And we proceed. It, it ends at the Great Lakes Mall, <laughs> right? It's right after the parade's over, which ends up at the Great Lakes Mall. There will be a costume contest. Anybody can enter, right? As long as you got a costume on and the ghoul will judge 
the best costumes, okay? I'll be a couple winners and we'll lay some cheapy prizes on you over there. So the parade starts at 2.30 and it will just proceed, oh golly, for until who knows when to the Great Lakes Mall and we'll have that costume contest, right? It'll be 2.30 this afternoon over there. Okay, we got the circus tickets out of the way, the ghoul sweatshirts. The men are JC's Halloween parade. Uh, something November 8th, the uh, big circus parade, which I'll tell you about next week. And also, you've been sending in your potato chips, smashed in an envelope for these 25 cents off, right on any 69 cent bag of wise potato chips. Well, you can have them, gang. The offer's still good. We still got a lot of them left. You won't believe. Oh, yeah, all over the place. Zingy, zingy. And all you gotta do. Draw a little piece of potato chip on a paper, right? Smash some in an envelope. I don't care what you do. I'll give you as many as you want. Just send in for them over there, right? And there's the address again, like magic, WKVF TV. Now, let me get a few of these things out of the way that we got, especially for Halloween, because I've been awfully tardy on the mail the last couple weeks. Ah, 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 and we're going to catch up for you. How about that little skull over there, right? That was sent in by Joey Buttvik, Hughley, Ohio. See the USA! Ah. All right, and we got a thing here, right? You won't believe, I kind of like this card. Sue Paisano over there, Akron, Ohio, sent in that card and it says, if you go out trick or treating, be sure to come to my house. I'll have an extra special treat waiting just for you. Till then, consider this, as a down payment, and you open the card, right? Oh, no, kissy kissy in there. Can you get that far? Hate to wake you, I know it's late, but up. where does Sue live? Akron, I'll be there, Sue, don't worry. The ghoul's coming. And along with that, she sent a little pumpkin with some of uh, Halloween's not complete without corn candy, right, gang? I mean it. It's just, it's, I mean, it's like Thanksgiving without a turkey and Christmas without a kishka. If you do not have your corn candy for Halloween, oh, day, okay. Oh, you won't believe, I get this great big box, right? From Ted Schiffner, over day. Doesn't say where he's from. Send in a huge box, all kinds of wrappings, and on top is a letter saying, the great pumpkin is coming. Then I finally get down to the nitty gritty, get this little sign that says, the great pumpkin has arrived. Right? <laughs> and there's the cat's great pumpkin. I mean a teddy baby. You can't do any better than that. No, we'll save it. That's kind of cute. A little bit of mold inside. I don't know what he made it from, but that's all right. Maybe it's a baby pumpkin for all we know. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one was sent in by. Hang in there, far. Here we go. Right here. Here's the star. Steve Griffin, Strongsville, Ohio. You know what he made the old ghoulie for Halloween? Not a jack-o'-lantern, but a jack-o'-potato, huh? Right, he took a potato, hollowed the thing out, and there it is, there's even a little candle to light it on. And this also has mold going rampant throughout, but we'll worry about that later. Now one last thing before we take off and start celebrating Halloween. I don't usually do this, but it's a Westlake football player, okay? And his name is Dave Jaros. Right, he suffered a broken leg in last week's Westlake football game. And he's gonna be watching tonight. So Stevie, in this case, don't stay sick, right kid? Just horn blow, get that leg mended, and this whole show tonight was dedicated to you and the Westlake football team over there. Well, I'll tell you gang, that about wraps it up. Until next week, I'm gonna go to a Halloween party right now. I'm not gonna tell you where. But it's still going full steam, at least it better be, if it's anything like those old college parties, they last all night into the afternoon. So do it while you can on Halloween, but don't get caught. <laughs> and next week, we'll see you with a movie. It's really a goodie, The Phantom of the Rue Morgue, right? So remember, stay sick, turn blue, and bye. Happy Halloween to all, and to all a good prize.